Hey everyone, welcome back to more Quest of Beings. <clears throat> and this part, mainly we're probably just gonna go through level 5. And finally getting our dark nuts in here. Alright, so given this is level 5, the music has changed and it's turned into, um, uh, I think it's a like Chrono Trigger music. So I'm gonna have to make up some ground with the darkness, because again, you never saw any until now. Now this room's kind of tricky, maybe you're trying to reach that tombstone, so you're gonna look for any way to do it, and what you're gonna find is there's an invisible path that you can walk on. So you can pick up that key, and really nothing there. I guess that's maybe a, a hint, maybe? You know, you're gonna try to shoot it with an arrow, and you just kind of find, you know, whatever way to reach it, but you'll kind of find that secret. So pick up the compass in this room. <laughs> and now we can continue on the lower path. Alright, got our blue dark nuts uh, introduced. Sideways sword trick. Because that's how you counter their, you know, aggression. So like you basically, you, know, you turn it right, uh, right against them. <laughs> and again, they drop a lot of hearts, so you got, you know, room for errors. You know, of course the room is easy if you can use your ladder to kind of stall out. Like, you know, this room looks intimidating, but you can just literally, you know, use the ladder to find a safe spot and just tank out the... Dark nuts from a safe position. <clears throat> Alright, uh, Big Dogger in this room. Might as well just get rid of this thing. Uh, it looks like it's still one piece. Yeah, free money. Yeah, you can actually go up to this hidden room. Again, you know, it's, uh, 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 you can do it on the NES version, but I think the timing's a little bit different. But here, you know, you notice the timing's a lot more lenient because you kind of are supposed to learn that. <coughs> Makes your life a whole lot easier if you can actually do that trick well. I'm 
not complaining about the clocks. We pass through these rooms. to do in this room, so, uh, so I have to have a, a couple keys to start out with, and I head back to the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through this again. You know, good practice with the sideways trick. Yeah, see, you have a lot of room to work with on it. Pretty much hit him a whole tile away. Now you can imagine, you know, if you have like a, you know, you actually swing your sword in an arc, you have that, you know, much more room to work with on that. <clears throat> so you can learn this, then you can learn the, the harder version. Or the, I mean, you know, if you know the, you know, this, you can do the, whichever way you can do it. Then eventually you do it with no walls. you learn to do it with, without any walls helping you. Because <clears throat> uh, it starts, it's easy to do it, you know, starting with the, the walls helping you. But then you eventually, you know, you have to learn to do it without the walls because, you know, sometimes you just can't get to the walls in time. More tanking. So as annoying as the respawn rule is, um, these blue dark notes are actually a way you can really exploit the respawn. Because, you know, since they drop so many hearts and fairies and stuff, you, know, you can just literally go in and out of the room and pick up refills. Especially if you have safe spots like this. You know, get yourself recharged up to full strength. <clears throat> Alright, um, you don't have to worry about wondering which lock to open, because you're going to have to open both locks, honestly. So, I'll just go to the open door first. And the boss is to the left. Of course, you need a boss key, and uh, I'm gonna take a guess what you're gonna battle because it's like, almost like what haven't you battled yet? <clears throat> now you may have seen a blue tombstone. Um, you're gonna get something to deal with that. This room looks a little intimidating with all the blue dark nut, but again, you got a nice safe area you can just snipe away at them. And again, this is a good spot to get refills. Because, you know, lots of blue dark nut means more hearts and fairies and stuff. I mean, that's just, I think, how ZC works with these blue dark nuts. They just drop tons of hearts. I mean, I don't know what percentage of the time they drop them, but it's got to be pretty high. Yeah, it's not 100%, it's probably like, maybe like, you know, well over 50% of the time. <clears throat> Alright, uh, heading on up here, and this room can be a real mess. Um, you got a bunch of crap in this room. Dark Knight, Pole Voice... Uh, really, in a clogged room like this, this is uh, not gonna be very fun to handle. Uh, so, sideways sword trick, if you can, and you're gonna have to be very clever with it. Look at this. I mean, I'm not really sure what you can really do. 
do about this. Okay, after you make a little bit of space, it's a little easier. pretty much snipe off what you can get because of the bubble in this room, and if you can't use your sword, you're not going to be able to do any sideways tricks. And that makes you a sitting duck. I think I have enough room to at least maneuver around a little bit now. Ooh, a clock. Oh, that's even better. <clears throat> that's even better. You get a clock in these types of rooms. Free pass through this. And look at that, we're already picking up silver arrows. You know, I'm just gonna take hits, whatever, because the next room has a bunch of blue dark nuts and you can just recharge in this room. Seriously, he dropped tons of hearts for you. <clears throat> Alright, Silver Arrows. You can now trigger the uh, blue tombstones, which will be very handy for this room. You're gonna need that to grab the key on um, this side of the room. And I got plenty of money to give because I'm almost full again. Even the 500 wallet is not enough. Okay, now we can open both of these doors. You get a super bomb, and I think you only get one, so I'm not sure what happens if you happen to waste this super bomb. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna give you another one or something, because it looks like you're only gonna get one. So, you know, there's only really one spot to use that. Um, that super bomb. So we can head on the uh, right side of this map, because we'll need the boss key. And kind of an odd shaped room. Now hopefully you can use this little kind of base to, you know, yourself safe on. And in this case, it's working pretty well because you're not going around it. <clears throat> uh, so we get the boss key, and pretty much you're done with this place. Not much left to do. I you know, just gotta finish off the level. So, heading to the left, we're gonna fight, um, oh, boy, three main handles, actually. <laughs> Thought it would be just one or something. And that's actually, uh, really helpful when you can do that. When you can nail a couple of the main handles at once. And you actually might want to use your arrows because they can take out the petals in one hit. Because your sword needs two hits. Now, that's really helpful when your bomb actually works well for you. 
Alright, so that actually didn't take too long to get through that level. And we'll take a quick detour, and... Luckily, most of this stuff is cleared up because I already took out all the land bowls. So, there is your magic sword, which will be quite helpful for the next level because level 6 has a pretty much long standing tradition in most Zelda quests, like the original Zeldas. You know, long standing tradition of what you're gonna see there. So you use the whistle on this screen, but you can't actually we can't actually do anything there yet. Um, you're gonna actually need the uh, the items from level six. So nice to have a little offensive punch. And you actually need the silver arrows to pass this anyway. So, you know, not surprisingly, this is probably going to be level 6, because, you know, 5 and 6 have to be on this island. And sure enough, <clears throat> just going to get rid of the whiz robes there. So we're going to take a break at this point and uh, next up we are going to go through level 6 and you've already seen what you're going to, types of enemies you're going to face in this place so uh, this will be fun. Alright, see you guys later.